Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the uh, cells of the immune system of the body. The cells of the immune system of the body mainly comprises of the four entities. These are the lymphocytes, the macrophages, the dendritic cells of the lymphoid tissue and the Langerhans cells of the skin. Talking about the lymphocytes, there are three sub-classification of the lymphocytes, T cells, B cells and the natural killer cells. These three are basically identified with the help of the surface glycoproteins. Talking about the B cells, these make up almost 15% of the circulatory lymphocytes and they have got very characteristic immunoglobulins on their surfaces. Now the B cells, they are originated, they, they have got their origins from the stem cells of the bone marrow and they not only differentiate within the bone marrow but also in the periphery. And ultimately they end up in the uh, lymph node in the germinal centers and also the uh, lymphoid follicles of the spleen. The second cells which are very important in this context are the T cells. They make up the 70% of the lymphocytes in the circulation and uh, these T cells they also have got their origin from the bone marrow. Uh, from the stem cells of the bone marrow. From there they go on to develop further into the thymus and ultimately they end up in the uh, part of the lymph nodes which we call the paracortical and deep medullary part of the lymph nodes and also the periarteriolar sheaths of the uh, spleen. Now these T cells, these can be uh, subdivided into two main categories based on their surface marker. One is the CD4 positive T cell which make up 60% of the T cells and the second one is the CD8 positive uh, T cells which make up the 30% of the uh, T cells uh, total population. Now this normal uh, proportion of the 2 is to 1 can be altered very uh, drastically in certain disease states for example in AIDS it changes to 0.5 to 1 ratio. Now the third and the last in the category of the lymphocyte is the natural killer cells. These make up 15% of the circulatory lymphocytes and these are also known as large granular lymphocyte because they have got a lot of granulations. They are larger in size and they have got a pale cytoplasm. These natural killer cells, they are involved in lysing or breaking the cells through the antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity. Otherwise, they directly kill the tumor cells, fung fungus and also those cells which are infected by the viruses. The next cells which are important in the category of the cells of the immune system, these are the macrophages. As it is clear from the name, macro means large, phage means something which eats up. So it belongs to a system of the body which we also call mononuclear phagocytic system. It is derived from the mon peripheral monocytes and these uh, uh, macrophages, they, they can directly kill the tumor and they are also involved in delayed hypersensitivity reactions. Macrophages, they excrete cytokines like interleukin-1 and they can also excrete uh, other enzymes like the acid hydrolases neutral proteases and other prostaglandins. These are involved in processing and presenting the antigen to the CD4 positive T cell along with the human leukocyte antigen type 2. Next in the line of the cells of the immune system is the dendritic cell of the uh, lymphoid tissue. Lymphoid tissue can be subdivided into two categories primary lymphoid tissue which comprises of the bone marrow and the thymus and secondary lymphoid tissue which comprises of the tonsils, the spleen, the pear patches and lymph nodes. Now these dendritic cells of the lymphoid tissue, these comprise of the dendritic cytoplasmic processes and they have got a large quantities of the human leukocyte type 2 antigen on the surface. These are not good phagocytic cells. These dendritic cells of the lymphoid tissue are not good phagocytic cells, but they are very good presenter of the antigen like the macrophages themselves. The last group of the cells which are important uh, in the immune system of the uh, humans, uh, these are the uh, Langerhans cells of the skin. 
they have a very uh, peculiar or very characteristics ultra structural formation they comprise of the birbic granules these birbic granules these are racket shaped cytoplasmic structures uh, like the uh, dendritic cell of the uh, lymphoid tissue these langer hand cells they have also got the surface uh, human uh, leukocyte antigen type 2 and they are not the good phagocytic cell but they are very good presenter of the antigen to the C uh, cd4 t cells 